Donna Briggs and today is Finance Friday. I hope it is a spectacular week. I know you did because you said your affirmations. I am healthy. I am happy. I live in abundance. I don't let any negative people, places, things, or environments control my peace. I was just talking to someone the other day, maybe yesterday, and they're working on this deal. And I said, the universe responds in your favor and anything that you want, you can get if you believe in it. They were like, oh my God, so inspiring. I'm like, I'm telling you, if you believe you can get it and you're operating on a certain frequency level, then you can get anything you want. Success is on a certain frequency level. You don't have to be a good person. You can be a bad person. But if you're operating on a successful frequency level, you will get successful. You will become successful. You'll be wealthy or whatever you're trying to do. So you don't have to be a good person because there's a lot of bad people who are very successful, but they're operating on a certain frequency level. So people are like, oh, that person's not a good person, but they're successful. It's not about how hard you work. It's not about what you're doing. It's about operating on a certain frequency level of success. You're going to meet certain people. Doors are going to open and you'll be financially set for the rest of your life if you're operating on their same frequency level. So on to Finance Friday. So open seal which is a cryptocurrency wallet. You've heard of that, like Coinbase is a cryptocurrency wallet, right? One of their employees, brilliant idiot, he gets on Twitter bragging about he's buying all these shares of OpenSea, right? Someone from Twitter, you have to watch what you do, people. People are watching. Someone from Twitter backtracked and traced that he works for OpenSea. So now OpenSea has admitted that its employee has been involved in an insider trading scheme. So the employee knew that the shares were going to go up because it's doing this new non-fungible token marketplace app. You already know what that is. Non-fungible tokens are cryptocurrency. All right. Anyway, so they've traced it back to the blockchain and got back to the employee. So the blockchain, what's that? A system of recording information, a digital ledger of transactions. So this guy ran his mouth, someone backtracked on the blockchain, got back to the employee, now OpenSea is embarrassed because their person is involved in insider trading. So it must be somebody that's like big in the company because they didn't fire the guy, which I think is interesting. But I'm sure the SEC will be becoming involved in the FBI and, you know, all that stuff. That usually happens when there's insider trading. On to the next story. General Motors has possible fires. Well, it's not possible fires. Definite fires. With their car, the Bolt, it's an electric car. Now, I have an electric car. I have a Tesla. This electric car. Now, I don't understand why they just take this off the market. And I'm shocked that their shares only went down like three or four dollars, which is shocking because they made an announcement that they're recalling 142,000 cars, bolts, Chevy bolts, which is an electric car. It's saying it will burst into flames if it's too close to another vehicle. Why would you sell that? I don't understand. You have to park your car outside. You can't park it in your garage. Don't charge your car overnight. And don't fully charge it. Now me, I park my car in my garage. I charge it overnight. And I park next to other vehicles. So if you see a Chevy Volt, Bolt on the street, don't park next to it. Because it might catch on fire, it's saying. I don't know. It's a $1.8 billion bill to repurchase and replace these vehicles. But let me give you some good news about General Motors. They're giving $50 million to charities in Detroit in the low income neighborhoods. So that's good. But uh, General Motors, you need to take care of those car fires. That's extremely crazy. And no one's died, which is shocking. 
anyway. And that's today's Finance Friday. I love you guys. Make every day a great day. Have a spectacular weekend. And remember, get those videos in about how you're paying it forward. What are you doing to pay it forward? Hey, I open the door for somebody. Uh, I pay for someone's food in line. I pay for someone's groceries. Let me know what you're doing out there. How are you paying it forward? Send me the video. Let me know how you're paying it forward. Just a little small video, 60 seconds and under, how you're paying it forward. And I will post it on my Make Every Day a Great Day website. I love you guys. See you tomorrow on Successful Saturday. Bye!